Hello everybody. I started fossil hunting back in 1991, I believe. Um, and I soon enough got into fossil crabs, well, and the fishes too, but uh, fossil crabs is what really turned me on. And so off I went, and I went, I went nuts over it. Um, what I've been asked over the years though is, how do you know there's a crab in there, and that sort of stuff. So I think, I think the easiest thing for me to do is to just show you. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Um, so, without further ado, let's go. Now, before we actually get started, here's a few still shots of uh, some trips that I used to go on and collect crab balls. And when I say I've gone through thousands of crab balls, concretions, uh, I am not kidding. Uh, I went head over heels. Anyways, here's some stills. Enjoy. As fossil hunting trips go, some trips were better than others, but I was always bringing home crab concretions. Okay, those are some pics of uh, a bunch of fossil trips and, and just a small sampling of trips um, and some that I actually paid for or traded for. Uh, I was always looking for crab concretions in one shape or another. Now I'm going to go on to uh, show you some stills of just getting things ready to prep. This is the old double clamper trick. This is the rarely used triple clamper trick. You can see in this photo I have arrows on these concretions. The arrow itself marks the top of the crab. The direction of the arrow uh, tells me which way the crab is sitting. Now before I go on to the video, the last part of this video that shows my super duper top secret need to know information <laughs> about uh, how to read a crab concretion. Uh, people always ask me how do you find crabs. Uh, the thing is you have to be in the right formation that has crab uh, concretions. Uh, and when I started stuff was laying around. Uh, now there's so many people involved that it's hard to find. It turned into hard rock mining. And things, so many places have been posted private property, and you can't blame them because there's always the bad apples that they ruin it for everybody. Um, but that's just the way it is. Um, anyways, I was in a, at a good time and found lots of concretions, and here's the rest of the video. Enjoy. Okay, that hum in the background is my heater on in the office because it's minus 17 degrees outside, even though it looks like a beautiful day. Anyways, what you see before you is a bunch of crab concretions um, from different places. New Zealand, Washington, 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 different sites in Washington. Washington, another different site. Washington, Oregon, New Zealand. Um, I have found thousands of concretions over the years. I buy them now because I can't get out. Um, this one was a tough read, so my son popped this one open, and there's just a piece of a crab in there. So luckily it was popped open and you didn't waste hours and hours of time trying to figure out what it is. So. 
I can't remember why I kept that one. Actually, I do. I'm going to turn that into a video. Anyways, um, you take a concretion. This is a rather nice one. It's small, but it's super nice. If you can see that shape, almost kidney bean, um, rounder back here, much square up here. This is where the claws are at. This is the be the back of the crab. It's probably hard to see. And it really is a tough one. I'm guessing this is the top. So being that it's a guess, what I do is I just make a hole until I hit either carapace, which would be the dorsal, uh, or the underneath of the crab, which would be ventral. And either the, either way, I would know it's a crab. But that's going to be a pretty nice crab. I know I know this site. Um, this one. You can see that shape again, rounder back here, square up here, so you know the claws are facing this direction. Uh, this is definitely the flatter side, so this is dorsal. So that crab is sitting there just like that with his little claws right there, little legs coming out. I don't know if you can see them or not, but that's also another, should be a nice crab with very beautiful color. I know where that side is too. Um, this one, this looks terrible. This this has meander campus in it. Uh, different type of crab. Uh, very hard rock. Um, and again, this looks like the square side. This looks like the rounder side. So I'm guessing that the claws are facing here. That's definitely the flatter side. So that's top. Pinchers are up here. Meander campus. Here's a. Uh, Here's one from uh, New Zealand, much bigger crab. Um, easy to tell this has a crab in it because you can let me uh, even brought some water for this. I hope that you can see that better. One, two, three legs. There's the fourth leg. So there's four legs on this side. If you turn this rock around, there's one, two, three. Can't see the fourth one anywhere. So hopefully it's curved back and got a got a, a dactyl on the leg. That's always nice. That I call them tippy tippies. Uh, this is definitely the flatter side. This is the rounder side. This is the square side. So that crab is sitting there just like that with the claw, right claw up here, left claw up here. Carapus, legs coming out. A lot of rock to remove, but pretty easy crabs are usually prep unless they're sticky, which they usually are. Here's one of the New Zealand crabs where I guessed wrong. Uh, I do it more than you think. I just filled it in where I dug in and found the uh, bottom of the crab, and I do not want the bottom of the crab. So I turned it over and I prepped it out. I don't remember how many hours that was, but you can see how the legs are nicely splayed out here. Nicely splayed out here. I don't know. Oh, fourth leg, or a the one, two, three. There's four legs there, but it goes right underneath this one. So there was no getting at that one. He's not for me. Not the way I prep. And here's a concretion from uh, Oregon, or Bidoplax weaveri. You can see the, the eye stalks on that baby. Uh, these things are great for preserving the eye stalks, and they have these elongated eye stalks uh, along with the orbits that they fit in. Uh, I can look at this crab now and see that I can <laughs> I do that all the time. Um, I can expose these pinchers more, but I probably will never get around to it anymore. Anyways, nice little crab from Oregon. This one from Washington. That's Orbitoplax weaveri, but get a load of the color of that and look at the tippy tippies this tippy tippies disarticulated from this leg uh, tippy tippies are the uh, the dactyls of the legs uh, one tippy tippy over here but just a beautiful crab these are the ones I want in my collection which is where it came from here's another one from Washington but this is a different crab this is called branchioplax uh, not the best crab in the world because it's move it's how it lost its bottom pincher I don't know this one was going underneath the face so I couldn't even get to it but I don't think it had its pincers either a uh, bit of disarticulation going on with this guy 
but still a pretty cool crab the way it's little sternum thing came out from underneath that's a, that's what holds the eggs when they're doing their make baby making stuff anyways there's um there's a bunch of crab concretions and there's lots of crab concretions I get that you just cannot read no way shape or form and I bust them open and in some sites half the concretions have absolutely nothing in them so it's just a waste of time to try to um, prep them all out because you'd be sitting there for the rest of your life prepping out a bunch of nothing well until you find one that has one in it but anyways um, I think it's a pretty cool hobby there you go